the outcast wasala sut this i have heard on one occasion the blessed one was dwelling at savatti in jetas grove another pindikus park then in the morning the blessed one dressed took his bowl and robe and entered savatti for arms now on that occasion at the residence of the brahmin agikavarat vaja a fire had been kindled an oblation had been prepared then the blessed one while walking for arms without skipping any houses approached the residence of brahmin agikavaradvaja then the brahmin agikavaradvaja saw the blessed one coming in the distance and said to him stop right there you shaveling right there you low caste ascetic right there you outcast when this was said the blessed one said to the brahmin agikavaradvaja but do you know brahmin what an outcast is or the qualities that makes one an outcast i don't know master gotama what an outcast is or the qualities of that makes one outcast please teach me the dhamma in such a way that i might come to know what an outcast is and the qualities that makes one an outcast in that case brahmin listen and attend closely i will speak yes sir the brahmin agikavaradvaja replied the blessed one said this a man who is angry and hostile an evil denigrator a deficient in view a hypocrite you should know him as an outcast one here who injures a living being whether once born or twice born who has no kindness towards living beings we should know him as an outcast one who strikes and attacks villages and towns notorious and an oppressor we should know him as an outcast whether in the village or in the forest one who takes what has not been given stealing the belongings of others we should know him as an outcast one who having taken out of a loan flees when pressed to pay it back saying i am not in debt to you you should know him as an outcast one who from desire for some item strikes a person traveling alone a road and takes away the item we should know him as an outcast a person who for his own sake for the sake of others and for the sake of wealth speaks falsely when questioned as a witness we should know him as an outcast one who is seen transgressing with wives of his relatives or friends with the wife was or through endearment you should know him as an outcast if one who is able does not support his mother or his father when they have grown old the youth gone you should know him as an outcast one who strikes or verbally abuses his mother or father his brother sister or mother-in-law you should know him as an outcast one who when asked about the good instruct others in what is harmful who gives advice in an obscure way you should know him as an outcast one who having done a bad deed wishes may they not find out about me a person of concealed action you should know him as an outcast one who when visiting another's family enjoys their meal of fine food but does not return the favor to his host you should know him as an outcast if one deceives with false speech a brahmin or an ascetic or some other mendicant you should know him as an outcast at the meal time one verbally abuses a brahmin or an ascetic that has arrived 
and does not give him any food, we should know him as an outcast. One here who speaks what is untrue, unbeloved by delusion, seeking to obtain something for himself, we should know him as an outcast. One who extols himself and despises others, inferior because of his own conceit, we should know him as an outcast. One who provokes anger, stingy of evil desires, miserly, deceitful, without moral shame or moral dread, we should know him as an outcast. One who reviles the Buddha or who reviles his disciple, whether a wanderer or a householder, you should know him as an outcast. One not actually an Arahant who claims to be an Arahant, a thief in this world along with Brahma, this indeed is the lowest outcast. I have explained to you these outcasts that are spoken of. One is not an outcast by birth, no by birth is one a Brahmin. By action one becomes an outcast, by action one becomes a Brahmin. Understand that in this way too, according to the example of mine, the Kandala son Sopaka, famed under the name Matanga. Matanga attained supreme fame, which is so very hard to obtain. So very hard. Many Kathiyas and Brahmins came to perform service for him. He ascended the Dev Road, the dustless great path. Having expunged sensual lust, he passed onto the Brahma world. His social class did not prevent him from rebirth in the Brahma world. Those born into family of reciters, Brahmins who specialize in the sacred hymns, are often seen involved in actions that are bad. They are reprehensible in this, in this present life and have a bad destination in the future life. Their social class does not prevent them from a bad destination or reproach. One is not an outcast by birth, no by birth is one a Brahmin. By action one becomes an outcast, by action one becomes a Brahmin. When this was said, the Brahmin Agika Bharadwaj said this to the Blessed One. Excellent Master Gautama, excellent Master Gautama. Master Gautama has made the Dhamma clear in many ways, as though he were turning upright what has been overthrown. Revealing what has been hidden, showing the way to one who was lost or holding up a lamp in the darkness so those with good eyesight can see forms. I go for refuge to Master Gautama, to the Dhamma and to the Sangha of Bhikkhus. Let Master Gautama consider me a lay follower who from today has gone for refuge for life.